Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I... this is not gonna be a tutorial but today I want to bring you the drugstore heroes which are the ones in, that I used actually to create this look today so yeah, all that you see that I'm wearing today it's from the drugstore I would dare to say that except a couple of products these are from very affordable brands, the ones that are more affordable so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead, jump right in and walk you through what I've done, even though it's already applied. It's not going to be a tutorial, it's just going to be showing you the product. So first and foremost, I have to show you uh, this Max Factor, the lid is a little bit whatever. Face Finity 3-in-1, the color is Sand. Uh, this is the foundation. Again, it, can, it, it claims that it's primer, concealer and foundation in one. Uh, if you don't live in Europe, the same brand, the Max Factor 3-in-1 would be your cover girl 3-in-1, so it's in the drugstore, it's been there for a long time, and it's a great one, as you can see. <laughs> Next up, uh, I, in order to frame myself for showing you once again the Age Rewind, I went to use an, a very good drugstore concealer as well, it's almost as good as that, that's my favorite one, but again, it's personal choices, but I use this liquid camouflage. Uh, 12 hour high coverage concealer by Catrice. My color is number 20, um, light beige, and this is waterproof. And this is the concealer that I am wearing today. And it's doe foot applicator, it's great, it's fantastic. Uh, it conceals everything that it needs and more. I wouldn't dare to say that this foundation, even though it says that it's concealer, I mean, you could build it up, but it's better to use a concealer but it's very handy that it comes in a pump, even though all our foundations here comes in a pump, but I know that for the majority of you guys, this is not the case. Next up, I set my under eye with the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder, and the color is transparent. So this is a transparent, uh, translucent powder that you can use just to set, as I did today, the concealer in place so it doesn't move and it doesn't reflect the light or for all over the face if you want more of a matte effect that I don't today that I didn't but next up I went ahead and I filled in my eyebrows with the Essence eyebrow pencil and the color is the blonde even though it's not blonde as you can see in here and as you can see it's on its last legs and this is tried and true it's really 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 affordable I would dare to say it's no more than two euros so and it comes with a brush that it it's really handy, it's what I used, you know, to put the hairs in place. So what more do you want? This is very, very convenient. The, next up for my eyes, I use this Catrice, the Nude Blossom Collection Eyeshadow Palette. And again, this is the uh, color 10, Blossom and Roses. I happen to think that this, uh, the pinkyish tones and whatnot, are, and berries are the ones that suit my best my eyes and what I, what I used today for this look in case you wanted to recreate it's very very easy I just applied this coloring here uh, th this is four euros rough, roughly five so I applied this topish color on my crease if you will and I went ahead and I applied this more peachy one on my mobile lid I applied a little bit of this lighter one on the center of my mobile lid and then I went ahead and I applied this on my brow bone area. And I applied a little bit and I smudged it, this brown in here, not the darkest one, but the second to dark, as my liner. And yeah, and then I smudged it so it's not as defined and so it created this effect. It's just like that. Next up, uh, this is gonna be quite fast, but I think that lately we're more into shorter videos, at least I am. Next up for my eyelashes, Wow, it's been so long that I, don't, <laughs> I haven't been talking about makeup that I lost the how to do it, the train of thought, you know. Um, I used this Wake Me Up um, mascara by Rimmel London, Rimmel, and this says it's with vitamins and cucumber, yeah, with vitamins and cucumber. I don't know, I don't know about that claim. I can tell you that it smells fresh. It smells like cucumber. I don't know if, it, if it's a gimmick, gimmicky thing, but the brush, it's um, very similar to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise or the Too Faced Better Than Sex, I think it is. So you, I just applied one coat today. I didn't go, want to go overboard 
with it and it creates the same effect. And as you can see, it really lifts your lashes and curls it. And again, truly, truly, truly affordable. Next up, I think this is the most expensive product that I use today. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And then I went ahead and I contoured a little bit my face with this bronzer. As per usual, nothing weird, nothing fancy, nothing heavy, of course. And uh, as a blush today, I used this NYX blush in the color Angel. That it's a very soft pink and I applied it just for, from the most prominent part of my cheeks up until here. And as you can see, here's the bronzer, here's the blush. And as a highlight, I applied this Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, bronzer, they claim, but it, this is a highlighter, and the color is Reserve Your Cabana. And this is a very good highlighter. See the reflection of the light? This is what I applied here on my cheekbones. And a little bit in the center of the forehead. Next up, I went ahead and I lined my lips with this Red Blush Lip Liner by Essence. Again, truly, truly, truly affordable, creamy, you cannot ask for more. And I prefer this, the, the ones that you can sharpen, so you can create a sharper edge, sharper point to draw, than the ones that are retractable. But this is, again, a personal preference. And last but not least, no, last but not least, second to last, I'd apl I applied L'Oreal Lip Paint, this matte lip paint, in the color Apocalypse Red. It's a liquid lipstick. And the color is this one here. This is what I'm wearing. Then I decided that I didn't want to be wearing a matte lipstick today. So the last step that I did, and this is any brand, like this brand is a French brand that we have in here. Uh, on my local drugstore, but again, it's just Vaseline, neutral Vaseline. Went ahead and I just applied a little Vaseline on my fingertips and I tapped it on top of the lipstick. And you don't need a lip gloss, you just apply a little bit of Vaseline and you create this shiny effect. Beautiful, really comfortable, very <laughs> wearable. And these are some unsung cures from the drugstore that, as you can see, I created this look that I happen to think it's a very, it's a look that you can really wear out on a dinner, out on a date, whatever, and it's a look that it's good, it's complimentary, and you don't have to spend a ton of money, you know, just to look good. You don't have to, like, you could, you could, but this look, it's all drugstore, and as you can see, it's every bit as good. And if I didn't tell you that it is all drugstore, and really, uh, again, Essence, Catrice, you feel me? Mm, wet and wild, you wouldn't know that I created this look with very, 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 very little money. So that's the idea of today, uh, just to show you that you can create a great look and you don't have to spend a ton of money. I, I, again, I think I'm a very big advocate on that, even though I, I have to admit that there are products high-end that are very near and dear to my heart. Uh, on a daily basis. If I can save a penny, you best believe I will. And as you can see, this is wonderful. This is what I'm wearing today. I think no one can say, oh, this looks cheap, this looks whatever. Why, why? Do we need, uh, no, no. We just need an aligner. We just need a lip paint. Again, L'Oreal is up there in price, but why do I need to spend extra money in some clear gloss by Makeup Forever that I do have and I paid good money for that when I can just apply good old Vaseline. Cents. Cents. It's not a euro. It's it's not even that. It's cents. So why? 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 I mean, come on. These are products that I would highly recommend. Yes, there might be better foundations out there or there might be, I mean, of course we cannot compare the quality of this eyeshadow palette in here as the quality of the, for instance, um, Benefit eyeshadow, big beautiful eyes that I have, or something like that. It's not comparable, but for a daily look, I mean, they are not as potent. Potent. You apply t twice the amount, and it's good. It's not like it doesn't have payoff. It does. Like it does. Let's do this. It does have payoff. So it's not like they're crummy. It's not. It's just that you got what you pay for. So for four euros, you're not gonna get the pigment that you would get by 
attached to the Nona, but once again, you don't need anything more than that. So yeah, in the meantime, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a good thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you're having a great day, and see you soon. Bye!